Hey guys, it is Kayla Waller with Waller Adventures, and I got Audrey with me. She's back there. <laughs> and we are at Payne's Prairie Preserve State Park, and we're going to look for some wild horses. horses. So stick around, check it out. So we are kind of close to Gainesville. Um, we're in like is Mike 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 Canopy, Florida, McCanopy. McCanopy, Florida, and we are technically in horse country. We're in like the west, the old west of Florida, back when they had the um, Florida Cowboys, known as Crackers. Um, we're out here doing cattle and everything like that. So um, yeah, there's wild horses out here. So we're going into the visitor center and see if we can learn more about it. And then we're going to go to the, um, watch the little tower and see if we can look over the prairie and see if we can see them. So let's check it out. All right, so we're in the, uh, visitor center. Let's see what they got going on. Basin Marsh, a line of extremes. They got some birdies. They got some, uh, let's see, live oak hammock. With the owl. Who tucked in the shade? That's neat. There's some antlers in here. That's cool. And footprints. That's neat. Pine lands. Yeah, they got kiki. And look at that buffalo head. Or bison. I know there's bison out here too. Look at the birds. Beyond the boundaries, this is a flyway destination. Oh, okay, so like the birds fly out of Payne's Prairie, or they come in and out from up north. That's neat. <laughs> Jaws of death. Gators. There's gators everywhere. They're not lazy, they're basking. Temperatures matter. That's cool. It tells you the temperatures of everything. Beyond the American alligator. Got the fishies, the sharks. Oh, that kind of tells you. Okay. So that's the lake here. That's the um, observation tower. It goes out to the, to the Florida um, aquifer, whatever we call it. Is it limestone below? That's kind of like in um, St. Augustine. With the fountain of youth. Birds. They got hogs and wild hogs or the hogs out here. Okay, this is this is what we want to know right here. The land shapes us. For twelve thousand years, the dynamic nature and abundant resources of the pra prairie have shaped the way people make a living. Got the stones and the. Scraping them. There's some um, arrowheads and stuff. A tool that enabled hunters to throw spears with great, with great increased speed and power. That's neat. The prairie's abundant animal and plant life supported the fishing, hunting, gathering lifestyles of Florida's first people. The large animals of the Ice Age, from giant beavers to F elephant like mammoths, provided them with food and clothing, weapons. The um, Temp Tim Luca. Yeah, we learned about them in St. Augustine, too. Oh, look at that shield. That's cool. Like, you got a shield so he's hunting turkey. It's, we kind of kind of do that today. Kind of like a, like a deer stand. So there's a whole bunch of cool arrowheads. Gonzalez. Is these Spanish adventurers were the first Europeans to come here. Seeking gold. The um, Seminole Indians raised corn and sugar cane. That's cool. What makes a person a true Florida cracker? Besides being born in the state, a love of land and nature, growing things in the soil, close family ties, and a deep sense of religion. I guess I'm a Florida cracker. <laughs> K. 
Captain Croton. Or what is this? In the 1870s, a prairie flooded as it often did and did not drain quickly. The permanent lake transformed life on the prairie, such as that steamboat shipping could be profitable in prize. Oh, we kind of learned about that at um, Blue Spring. They have all the steamboats there. Oh, look at the whip. The whip, that's where they got their nickname Cracker from because of the cracking of the whip. This is a saddle. Cracker cowmen didn't need the horn found on the western saddles for anchoring a lasso. They used dogs and whips instead of rope to catch small um, cow. That's interesting. A cracker pony. These small and sturdy horses were used until larger horses were needed to rope larger breeds of cattle. That's very interesting. Did you see that? The saddle, they didn't need a horn on the saddle because they just didn't need it because they used dogs and whips mm -hmm. instead of lassos. That's neat. Oh, okay. His rangers have worked the prairie from the time of Spanish until today. A uniquely Floridian way of ranching is practiced by the cracker cowmen who use small horses, long whips, and dogs. That's neat. Yeah, it's not like your normal cowboys out west. They are different here. That's neat. Come here, look at the farming stuff. It says we shape the land as long as people have lived on the prairie. We have left our market upon it. Hunting, planting, and fire. Oh, look at that bison skull. See, it's a oh, it's a it's a gardening hoe, but it's with a scapula. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's neat. Some pottery bowls. Oh, look at the um, cattle branding. We learned about that at um, Christmas. Okay. You learned about the branding there? Oh, Payne's Prairie brand. That's PSP. That's cool. See the Camp family fence in the... Oh, that's neat. Oh, that's cool. Daggone. Oh, look at the train. I'm talking about the three um, Seminole Wars. We learned about that before Christmas, too. Oh, okay. It talks about the... Oh, wow. In 1774, that's what it looked like. It says we were here. The prairie of the Seminole. It says in the railroad. So we're here. Railroad's going up to Gainesville. Seventy four. We're here. It says road and canal invasion is complete. Oh yeah. So there's um seventy five and four four forty one today, and that's what it looks like today. Seventy five and four forty one. We're right here. All right. So the little ranger guy over here said that there's some wild horses out there, and he said he saw a bald eagle. So we're gonna go out there and see if we can uh, see the wild horses. All right. So it's pronounced Alachua because <laughs> we dumb. So apparently there's that's the prairie and there's horses out there. So um I got some special binoculars that I got for my birthday. And they record. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if I can pull them out and see if we can see the horses. Fifteen minutes later. Alright, so we can't see anything over here. So we're gonna go to the observation tower. Let's go. Alright, so we're at the observation tower. We're gonna we gonna walk up there. See if we can see anything. I hope we can. That's the uh there's a trail that way. Oh wa watch a watch a hooda. <laughs> Waka hooda. I am I am not good at Native American names. Alright, so it says William Brat Batter Bratterams first view of Payne's Prairie. If you if you want to read it, you can pause the video and read it. I'm gonna get out all the way she's taking pictures. Alright, this one the Florida Park Service philosophy on management of Payne's Prairie. There's a big huge spider. Look at that. Look at it, spooter. Scare it. I'm not scared. But look how pretty it is. It's like Audrey said, it looks like it's a painted picture out here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
is really really pretty imagine imagine being a a cracker and out here and um you know roping the cattle and stuff well I guess not roping you you just crack them whips yeah and with the dogs yeah that's pretty neat Yeah. yeah but it's 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 really neat out here. I could camp right here and be happy. Yeah, exactly. Zoom as far as I can get. So there's like um like a black dot out there. All she thinks they're bison. Is there are bison out here too, along with the horses? It's hard to tell. It looks like it looks like I think they're moving. Those black dots are moving. <laughs> I think they might be bison. I think they're baby bison, honestly. Like two of them. Mm -hmm. Maybe a, a mom. I think it's bison. No, it might be bison then. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna record you. It's hard to tell. It looks like it looks like they're moving. Those white dots are moving. <laughs> oh, do you think it's your pigs? <laughs> They're hogs. They could be hogs. They're hogs here too. Based on the size. And the fact that I can't see really any horns. Wait, no, nope, that's a bison. That is a young bison, for sure. Nice. Just turn to the side. Can you see him switching his tail? They might uh, they might be a horses or bison, I can't tell. They might be horses because there's the way they're switching their tail. Oh yeah, they're, they're horses. Yeah. Because they're, they're, their heads are pointed down like that. Mm -hmm. oh. That looks like a, a mama and a baby. Are they there by themselves? Over to the left? Mm-hmm. All right, so you saw on the, uh, the binoculars, but they're out that way. There's a baby and a mama over there, and then there's like six of them over here just hiding out. But um, I zoomed in as close as I can, but they're just too far away. But um, yeah, look at there's water right there. Look how pretty it is. I've seen we've seen people walk down on that little trail, so we might see see what's up about that. All right, so I think if you turn down this little path over here, I think you can actually go in there <laughs> and see and see what's going on. Maybe no. no. Oh, how did, I don't know how they got down there. They got to wind through this little this little door right here. Open range bison, cattle, horses, alligators, and eh, are wild. Do not feed and approach. Sweet. You're entering a wilderness area. Do not feed or approach wildlife. 
Be careful right there, I almost twist my ankle. So we'll go out here a little a little ways and just see what's going on. I don't plan on walking around all all day. I'm not doing that. Alright, so yeah, Audrey just pointed out that you see how tall everything is. That's why you can't really see them. I mean you just see black blobs. <laughs> yeah. And there's the observation tower up here. But um if you walk back from the observation tower and come down to this fence, you can walk down here. But um yeah, you can see, hear people walking over there. But this is this is the Jackson something trail. I think people ride their horses on this trail. <coughs> but yeah, like I mean, it's really pretty out here. Beautiful. Mhm. Mm I would camp out here amongst the horses. Right. <laughs> and bison and gators. Oh god, yeah. Note ropes. I don't like note ropes. Ugh. Note ropes. Snakes are fascinating creatures, and they are part of nature. I know, but I don't like them. <laughs> and granted, there are certain ones I will steer clear of. Yeah. Alright guys, so, um, we saw six horses. I think one of them had a baby. <laughs> Um, they're, they're just so far out and this grass is just so tall um, my binoculars couldn't see them but I mean you can see them a little bit you can see them moving around I mean even the people are standing beside us they're like we can just see little black dots but um it is what it is this is a big huge prairie um, but I will go to their website and see if they have any pictures of them up close because I know they have come up close before but um I'll post some pictures of them so you can actually see what they look like I've seen some people post in the the camping Facebook page where they've been here like the past couple weeks and they've actually come up really close. Alright guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're, you're subscribed to the channel. If you are, we greatly appreciate it. If you're not, hit that subscribe button. It'll help our channel grow. We're also on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. And below this video, there's some merch. You can also go to the description and there is a link to our merch shop. You can go on Facebook and get some cool Wall Adventure stickers and a koozie. So thanks for watching. See you soon. Hey guys, it's me again. If you want to subscribe to your channel, click over here. If you want to check out some more videos, click down there. If you want to check out our cool merch shop, go to the description below and click the link. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.